Hello, anyone not still living in the 1970s. We interrupt your day to bring you this announcement. Husker Ninja is in the building. Alright guys, we are here today with episode number one of the Memphis Tigers Dynasty right here on NCAA 14. We've got the first game of the Yakov Kolenkov era here on tap for you today as Memphis travels to Birmingham, Alabama to take on UAB in a rivalry game. It'll be Memphis and UAB in the battle for the bones. As you can see, looking at the tail of the tape on paper, Memphis is the better team. We will have to see if that transfers over to the product on the field. As hello everyone and welcome to UAB Stadium here in Birmingham, Alabama. College football is back and the new season begins with a rivalry game here as UAB plays Memphis in the Battle of the Bones. I am Husker Ninja and I am bringing you Memphis football action all season long right here on the Horn Sports Network. You can see, taking a look at the starting uh, defense here, you got Holloway and Golden on the end positions. You can see Tank Jake starting at left outside linebacker, Charles Harris, the sophomore middle linebacker, and True freshman Daniel Clayton getting the start at right outside linebacker. Winton McManus backing up all linebacker positions. Bakari Hollier, Chauncey Lanier, Skip Maddox, and Lionel Brooks are your four cornerbacks. For true freshman Jason Patrick gets the nod at free safety. And true freshman Nate Austin will get the start at strong safety. As Memphis won the toss and elected to defer. And so on second and six, they'll give to Jordan Howard, and Howard's blown up in the backfield. It's Charles Harris, the middle linebacker, making the stop. And see on second and six, just ran into a wall of Memphis defenders right there. Now that'll set up third and nine. Brown going deep, going to be knocked away by Hollier, incomplete. And there's Memphis. Defense will force a punt on UAB's first drive of the game. As you can see, head coach Yakov Kolenkov, the Russian, is coaching his first game at the helm of the Memphis Tigers. We'll have to see him get it started off with a win as we take a look quickly at the starting offense here for Memphis. And obviously at quarterback, you got Jacob Cam, someone to keep an eye on. Brandon Hayes at running back, also someone to keep an eye on. And then maybe K1 Malone, the redshirt junior wide receiver. Just... Perhaps three names to watch here on this offensive side of the ball. As on first down, the first play from scrimmage for this Memphis offense will be a handoff to Hayes. Brandon Hayes up the middle for a gain of 11 and a Memphis first down. So a nice start to the season for this Memphis offense. Gain of 11. They'll go back to Hayes on the second play from scrimmage. Hayes got 11 more. Two plays, two Brandon Hayes carries and 22 yards gain for this Memphis offense. That's a nice start. Later in the drive, now facing a third down and eight. They've got it inside the UAB 40. The pass will be caught by K1 Malone on the slant for a gain of six. It'll be two yard try of the first, but Yakov Kolenkov rolling the dice. They're not in field goal range, so they're going to go for it. And Malone will make the catch on the slant. Eight more yards and a Memphis first down. Move those chains for the Tigers. Karam is two of two for 14 yards. Both passes have gone to K1 Malone. And so the redshirt junior getting off to a nice start in the season as Karam will keep himself on first down. Jacob Karam rumbling inside the 10. It's a gain of 18. And that'll be first and goal for Memphis. The Tigers are in business as one of the UAB defenders overran it and allowed Jacob Karam to just cut up the middle. Laying the drive, it is now third and goal. Ball out about the two. Karam. Back to pass, going caught end zone, touchdown Joe Craig. The senior wideout makes the grab as Memphis has put its first points on the board here in the Yakov Colin Cavera. And that was a nice pass from Karim to Joe Craig. That'll be a nice completion right there as it's 7-0 now. That pass will be fit into a pretty tight window to Mardrikas Humphrey. And so that'll be a UAB first down. Nice throw there by quarterback Austin Brown. 
Brown going to give it to Howard on first down. Howard's got nowhere to go. He's going to lose two. Stopped in the backfield by Kendrick Golden. It looked like Skip Maddox, the true freshman cornerback, was also in on the stop. Then in the drive, it's third and inches, and Brown, not really sure what he's doing right there. He's going to be finished off by Skip Maddox, and the freshman cornerback really getting involved here early in this game. Not sure exactly what Brown was thinking as he paused for a little bit on the read option, and that allowed Maddox to take him down in the backfield. Later in the or ensuing Memphis drive, third and 14, pass rifled over the middle. It's caught by Tevin Jones, and Jones will cut up field, get 17 yards, and that's a third and long conversion for this Tigers offense. Memphis going to pick up the first down on a gain of 17 on the throw over the middle. That'll set up a first down. Ball is at about the 38 maybe. Carrying back to pass. So there any caught by Hayes. And Brandon Hayes going to get it across midfield on a gain of 16 out of the backfield. One catch, 16 yards for Hayes. And that was actually a really nicely run route right there. He was wide open. Cut up field, got it across midfield, and now Memphis back in UAB territory. As we have reached the end of the first quarter here in Birmingham, Memphis with the 7-0 lead over the Blazers here in the Battle of the Bones. It is a second and four as we begin this second quarter of play. They'll give to Hayes up the middle. Brandon Hayes going to pick up six more, and that'll be a first down. Move those chains for the Tigers. Three carries, 28 yards for Hayes so far today. There in the drive, it's now second in inches from about the 25. They'll give to Hayes up the middle. Hayes bouncing off tackles. Hayes down to about the 10. That'll be first down for Memphis. Hayes with five carries, 53 yards. And right here, he bounces off his own lineman, and he cuts up field, gets that one to about the 10. Actually, the ball might be, might be marked down at about the 11 because it's first and 10. Back to pass, Karam got him in. Touchdown, George Peterson. The true freshman tight end makes his first collegiate grab. And that will be a touchdown, and Memphis has extended its lead. Just a nice play call right there. Uh, Peterson was all alone. Karam really had to get it to him. That was all he had to do. Brown will keep it himself on the ensuing drive. Ball comes free. It's picked up by Britt. And Memphis is forced to turn over. Sam Britt with the recovery after Tank Jakes stripped the ball free. And that is not what you wanted to have happen if you were UAB. Just an excellent strip right there by Tank Jakes. Yanked that ball out of Brown's hands and Britt dove on it. And they came up with a huge turnover. And now Memphis will look to make them pay. As it's first down, they're already in the red zone. Came back to pass play action. Got a man, it's Peterson. George Peterson down to about the one. It'll be first and goal for Memphis. And so they get the touchdown. They get the turnover. And now the play action works to perfection. And they're knocking on the door down at the one. It'll be first and goal. All of a sudden we're about to go from a 7-0 game to a 21-0 game in the blink of an eye. As they will give to Dorcius. And Dorland Dorcius is into the end zone. That's a Memphis touchdown. It is now a three-score game here in Birmingham. Dorcius went into the end zone untouched. The backup running back finds the end zone, and it's now 21-0 Memphis. Brown back to pass, second and four. He's going to fire that one toward the sideline. Caught by Kennard Backman, the tight end. And that's a gain of 12 and a UAB first down as they desperately need to get this one into the end zone. Howard blown up on first down, though. It's a loss of two. Charles Harris there to make the play in the uh, in the backfield again. His second tackle for loss already today. It's now third and two. Brown going to keep it himself. Brown sheds off a couple tackles. Brown inside the 35 down to about the 34 of the Tigers. Gain of 18 right there for Austin Brown. And it'll be first down. Brown will keep it himself again. Brown got a big hole. He's got the edge down to about the 15. 17 more right there for Austin Brown. And it'll be first down inside the red zone down to about the Memphis 15 for UAB. Brown back to pass. On to scramble. Hit and dropped. Looks like Winton McManus will get credit for that one. But Joel Holloway, the true freshman defensive end, was also there. Even if he doesn't get credit as he was being blocked, he definitely forced him into McManus. 
And on second and goal, Brown blown up in the backfield, lost to three. It'll be Harris again. They wanted read option right there, but Harris is not fooled. Comes out, makes the play. It sets up third and goal. Pressure comes, but Backman is all alone. And that's an easy touchdown as Austin Brown is able to get the ball off before the pressure came. A bit of a gamble there by this Memphis defensive coordinator. They dial up the blitz. Doesn't quite get to Brown, and that's an easy UAB touchdown. We got 2.50 to go here. First half, second and one. They'll give to Hayes. Hayes, some more running room. Another big hole. He's out across the UAB 40 now. Punching that one across midfield. Six carries, 71 yards so far today for Hayes. And so he hasn't even been given the ball that much, but he's really made the most of it. First down from the 39 of the Blazers. They'll give to Hayes again. Hayes still not going down. He's got 12 more. Hayes is just really shifty and elusive, and he's been slipping out of tackles left and right all day. Laying the drive, it's now third and 10. Karen back to pass. Throws caught over the middle by Jones, and Tevin Jones will cut up field for the Memphis first down. That's a gain of 12 right there for Tevin Jones. Sets up a first down from the 15 in the red zone. Karen back to pass. That's caught by Jones again. Tevin Jones, a gain of 13 down to about the 3. Three catches, 42 yards for Jones, and it's first and goal for the Tigers. Got a minute to go here, first half. Karen throwing on the slant. Caught. Touchdown, Memphis. K1 Malone, the redshirt junior, makes his first grab of the season. Not his first grab, but his first touchdown grab of the season, rather. And that one comes on the slant. He was open. Malone's first receiving score of the season. And it's now 28-7 with under a minute to go. But on second and 10, UAB going to get that one to Madrikas Humphrey again. And he's got it out toward midfield. Brown going deep again toward the sideline. Caught by Humphrey again. Back-to-back -back snags by Madrikas Humphrey and UAB's on the move. They're back into Memphis territory. And they still got a chance to put this thing into the end zone. 45 seconds to go. Still got two timeouts to work with. Brown back to pass. Thrown sideline. Caught by Backman. And these are just throws right on the money to receivers right along the sideline who are able to drag their toes and keep their feet in bounds to make the catches count. Just unbelievable here for this offense. On third and seven, Backman will make the catch, and Backman will get into the end zone. The tight end with the receiving score, and now UAB has gone down the field in about 30 seconds, and they've tied it up. Still 30 seconds left in the first half. It's now 28 to 14. Well, at least pending the extra points. But Memphis's defense really struggled right there. Karam on first down. Going deep. Has man, but it's actually going to be intercepted by Jones. The first big mistake of the day for this Memphis offense is an interception. And it really wasn't even a bad decision or even really a bad throw. He had Peterson... It's just Peterson was slow enough that Jones was able to outrun him and make the play and get to the ball first. So that's that's hard to pin completely on Karam as with a receiver instead of a tight end, that one's probably caught. But instead, UAB really mismanaging the clock there. They had one timeout left. They had probably definitely a field goal. Instead, they let the clock run down to three seconds and then throw it short. So no points when UAB easily could have had at least three. And our halftime score is still 28-14 in favor of Memphis. The Tigers really dodge a bullet following that interception. But they do get the ball to start this third quarter. It's a third and six here. Karen back to pass. Throws underneath. Dropped by Dorseus. And the backup tailback can't come up with it. He would have been short of the first down anyway. And that's got to be a Memphis pun. A three and out for the Tigers. On 3rd and 10 on the ensuing possession for UAB. He had, it looked like Backman maybe. But Brown overthrows him. It's incomplete. They have to punt it as well. And so trading punts here on the first year of the second half. On 2nd and 7, K1 Malone got open over the middle. He's got 4 catches for 27 yards, including that 11-yard game there. And it'll be 1st down from the 35 Cross in motion for Memphis as they'll give the ball to Hayes. Hayes has the sideline knocked out of bounds 
as he bounced off the tackles. Momentum carried him out of bounds, but that'll put Hayes over 100 yards on the day. He's got 10 carries for 105 yards, and Memphis has another first down. As they've got it just shy of midfield here, calling out about their own 49 probably. They'll give the Hayes up the middle. Hayes still bouncing off defenders, and he's also bouncing off his own old lineman today. That one's another 10-yard gain and another first. On second and nine, Karen will keep himself. Karen bouncing it inside, down inside the 25. A big gain right there for Karen as he keeps it himself. And he's got the first down. So Memphis moving the ball pretty efficiently right here. They're facing a third and 10 now from the 24. Karen going deep, has a man, touchdown! George Peterson got loose deep. That was identical to the play that threw, they threw the interception on to, at the end of the first half. This time it's a touchdown as Peterson split the defense deep. And he all he had to do was make the grab. A nice throw by Cam right on the money. And Memphis has extended its lead yet again as we've got a studio update for you. Alabama has fallen. They lose to Virginia Tech. 27 to 21 in the first game of the season. So a shocker there is Alabama is upset by the Hokies. It's 35 to 14 in favor of Memphis in our game, but UAB back on it. One play broken tackles. What a pathetic display of defense right there. Harris is finally going to catch Madrikis Humphrey after he a 67 and on the very next play into the end zone untouched goes Jordan Howard from 13 yards out. And that was honestly just the worst display of defense I've seen in a very long time. Two broken tackles. He went up to grab it, dragged, a, just, I mean, pathetic tackling. And then an untouched touchdown run. Just awful, awful defense. It's now back to a 14 point game. They'll get the first down there to Jones. But now later, forcing fourth and two from near midfield. The pass will go off the hands of Cable and Malone and incomplete. And UAB with a great chance to make this a one-score game as they had the first down, but Malone could not make the grab. Really just bounced off his hands, and there goes Brown. Brown again is 16 inside the 30, and this Memphis defense has really struggled here today. I mean, they had a nice fumble early in the second quarter, but other than that, they have given up yards at will to this UAB offense. Memphis leads 35-21 to 21 at the end of the third. It's a second and ten here as we begin the fourth quarter for UAB. Second down. Backman will make the catch for a gain of 11. Five catches, 67 yards, and two touchdowns for Backman. Brown will keep it, keep it himself, and Brown carving up this Memphis defense both through the air and on the ground. It's really been a struggle all game long here. On first and goal, Howard, nowhere to go. He's down in the backfield for a loss of three. And Joe Holloway couldn't make the tackle, but he slowed him up, forced him back inside, and Skip Maddox finished him off. It sets up second and goal. Howard brought down in the backfield again, and this time Holloway does make the stop. Joe Holloway finally finding a spot on the stat sheet, although he has impacted this game on more than one occasion. He just finally got something to show for his efforts. On fourth and goal, going to the end zone, and that'll be caught. Touchdown, Jamarcus Nelson. And now it is a seven-point Memphis lead. 6.55 to go in the game as Laney, Laney A, Chauncey Laney A, just, I have no idea why he was doing He didn't even put a hand up, didn't even try to get the ball back. It is second down and inches on the ensuing Memphis drive. They are only up by seven, and they're going to put the ball in the hands of Brandon Hayes and trust him to wear out this UAB defense. So far, so good. That's a nice gain on first down. And again, Hayes bouncing off first contact. Just Hayes refusing to go down at first contact. That time, he actually is brought down the first time he's touched, but not before he gets 11 yards and another first down. 17 carries, 166 yards for Hayes. It's now a third and six here. Karen back to pass. Fires over the middle. Caught by Kaywon Malone. He's going to be brought down a yard shy of the first down. Both three minutes left and in field goal range. All they have to do is kick this one right down the middle. And Jake Elliott's 
attempt does go through the uprights. So we've got another studio update for you. It's another upset as number 23, Boise State, falls to Washington, 22-14 in that one. It is 38-28 in favor of Memphis here, but UAB not going quietly. They're looking to make a move and at least get themselves in position to try an onside kick. You never know what can happen. There's Madrikas Humphrey again making plays on this defense. On second inches, Brown wants it all. Going end zone. Intercepted. Picked off by Bakari Hollier. And that's the second turnover of the day for this Memphis defense. That one's picked off by Hollier in the end zone. And that could be the turnover that will seal the deal. Second and six as UAB is out of timeouts now. Hayes will go up the middle for a first down and that'll do it. Memphis gets out of here with a 38-28 win in the first game of the Yakov Kolenkov era. It gets off to a nice start with the win. The offense had 424 yards of offense. The problem was UAB had 367 yards on offense, including nearly 300 yards through the air. Austin Brown just shredded this defense all day. But in the end, Memphis' offense does enough, and the defense comes up with two turnovers. And they get the 10-point win. Karam had 163 QB rating, 15 to 24, 154 yards, four touchdowns to one interception, which really wasn't entirely his fault. I mean, a little bit more speed out of the tight end, maybe, and that's caught. Hayes had 24 carries, 208 yards, no touchdowns. But Hayes, the junior tailback, going over 200 yards on the ground in his season debut. Just his offense was really clicking on all cylinders. Malone had five catches for 32 in a score. George Peterson had three catches, 51, two touchdowns. Tevin Jones had four for 54. I mean, a nice day receiving, though. A nice day just really entirely on offense. Defense, not much to write home about. Harris had seven tackles for loss. He had three with four, a couple with three, a host with two, and more, more still with one. Looking at tackles for loss, Charles Harris, the sophomore middle linebacker, had three. Maddox, the true freshman corner, had two. Golden, Jakes, McManus, and true freshman Joe Holloway each had one. I liked what I saw from Holloway, even though that was his only stat. McManus had the only sack. Hollier had the only interception. Uh, Tank Jakes had a forced fumble. It was recovered by Sam Britt, another true freshman. But I liked what I saw. For the most part, uh, the defense, especially passing defense, left something to be desired. But in the end, it doesn't matter as the Yakov Kolenkov era gets off to a great start here. Memphis with the 38-28 win. That'll do it for me, and I will see you guys next time. Have a great day, everybody.